Is 3D printing becoming the new manufacturing norm? The last few years have been good for additive manufacturing in the aviation industry. 3D printed aircraft parts are 30 to 55% lighter than traditionally made parts, making them good candidates for fuel efficiency and savings. And Aerotech knows it. The German company won the German Aviation Innovation Award for their 3D printed A350 components. Today, at ILA Berlin, their CEO shows us a 3D printed tube in powder-based titanium. It is currently flying on the A400M. This part is uh, redesigned by Pro Ameritech. In fact, what we've done here is we replaced a quite complex piece which is built of over 90 components by one piece which is printed in one size. In fact, we see here redesigned pieces, so we see redesigned attachments. Those have exactly the same strength than the original ones, but they obviously are much lighter. And the good news is, it is faster to produce, and of course it's cheaper. Because, I mean, just imagine over 90 pieces and here you print it in one piece. 30 hours were needed to make this part. That is quite quick compared to traditional machining, which requires making 90 different components for the same part. Additive manufacturing, once used just for prototyping, has now become an industrial process in its own right. By the M2 Aero engines have we for 10 years started with additive verfahren as rapid prototyping. Und wir sind aber seit 2016 jetzt bereits in der Serie. Also wir stellen wirklich Serienteile her und entwickeln das jetzt weiter und möchten in Zukunft andere Serienteile herstellen, mehr Serienteile und auch mit neuen Werkstoffen. Es sind unglaubliche Designmöglichkeiten äh, vorhanden, die man mit dem normalen äh, Fräsen nicht hinkriegt. Die Maschinen sind so schnell we started with one lasers, we had then two laser machines, now we have four laser machines and it's go, the trend is ongoing. The, the, the speed is growing and therefore the cost is, is shrinking. And there is the moment where more and more of the pieces um, have a business case to be printed. So we do see uh, a huge future for printing and the moment that the cost comes even more down for aluminium, we do see the potential even huger. So we're at the beginning of, let's say, an age of 3D metal printing. Bigger parts will soon be 3D printable and one day perhaps entire fuselages. But for the moment, maintenance, a strategic area in the aviation sector, could directly benefit from 3D printing. In the future, we could think of having not big, big stores of uh, remote parts or spare parts, but what we can think of as having printing facilities all over the world. So we would just send a set of data of the, of the required parts and then they're locally printed. So meaning we're saving transport time, we're saving a lot of stock areas for spare parts, and that is one of the developments we are, we are following. Additive manufacturing is definitely spreading its wings.